Hello and welcome to the tutorial video for the Full Spectrum Hobby Laser in the Ting Makerspace. I'm Steve and I'll be walking you through the process of operating the laser. We'll have you take an assessment after this video so be sure to pay close attention to what I'm going over. The Full Spectrum Hobby Laser is a great machine for etching and cutting out designs. This 40 watt laser can cut materials like wood, acrylic, leather, and fabric up to a quarter of an inch thick. It can also etch and engrave materials like stone, tile, glass, and more. Other features include a true 20 by 12 cutting area, a removable Z floor, a rotary attachment for engraving on glassware, an air compressor to blow smoke away from the cut, a water pump for a recirculating water cooling system, and an air filter to limit dust and smell on the laser. Getting started, we will launch the design software Inkscape and the laser controller software Retina Engrave. We use Inkscape to import designs and vectorize them so the laser will know how and where to focus. Once we have our design made up or imported, we will simply push print. Select the full spectrum engineering driver and send it to Retina Engrave. In Retina Engrave, we can select from engraving and vector cutting. Engraving will etch the design into your material, whereas vector cutting will cut all the way through. The software also allows us to adjust the cut speed and power, do some simple design work, and select which order we would like to cut our design in. Here's how you operate the hobby laser. Turn on the water pump and air compressor with this power button. Turn on the air filter with this remote. Next, use your recursion card key to turn on the laser. Wait for the laser to boot. Once you see an IP address, the laser is ready to go. Load your material into the laser. If you're vector cutting, put it on top of the honeycomb grate. Square your laser head to the material. Jog the laser head across the top of your material to ensure it's square. Next, position the laser head in the top left corner of the material. Run a perimeter test to make sure the design will fit onto your material. Adjust the head of the laser to the proper distance from the material. Place the metal billet below the cutting head and adjust accordingly. If the head is too high or too low, your etch or cut won't turn out. Enter the appropriate speed and power settings for the material you're working with based upon the chart recommendations. Hit the play button to start your print. Once your job has finished, remove your material. You can load your next job, or if you're finished, shut down the laser, water pump, air compressor, and the air filter. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Remember to work safely and please leave the equipment in the same way you found it so the next maker can have a great experience too. Welcome to Ting Makerspace Westminster. We can't wait to see what you create.